What's up, what's up? Six Sensei here, trying my first Sony Vegas tutorial for 2SIG GFX. Uh, I'm excited to do this. Uh, this is an effect I haven't done in a long time since my cloak and dagger montage. It's the effect that everybody wants to see how I did it. It's the, uh, the flip off finger effect. It was actually quite a lot easier than some of you think and probably harder than some of the other ones think. So let's jump right into it, guys. Uh, so Sony Vegas, obviously, right here. Uh, very, very awesome program. Very powerful program. I love it. And I have some of the stuff here ready to go. So drag your clip into the timeline. And whatever clip it may be, and we can make this look a little bit better than that. So, as you can see, this is the clip where, this is the original clip. Let's look at it here. So, some of you may remember from the montage. You're all going to die down here. So, as you can see. Good times, good times. Love that montage. Couldn't be pr more proud of it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to edit my own montage, this next one, because I just don't think my edits are good enough for the clips. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, moving on. So here's the clip. This is the original clip, the original file. And the first thing I like to do is throw some color correctors. Do your own, you know, use your own color correctors. Use mine. I, you know, it is what it is. I use color curves. It's my favorite. And I have a bunch of things that I've already made um, and saved in here. I really don't know how to share them. I wish I could. If I can, tell me in the comments. But I have one I like to call Modern Warfare 3 Super Sexy. Let's throw that in here and see what we get. Mm, mm, that looks pretty good. So as you can see, everything looks uh, pretty cinematic and pretty dark and epic and, and things like that. So first of all, these are all the cinematics that I grabbed from a long time ago. Never used them. So let's get rid of that right out of the gate. Working with way too much clip here. So, um, yeah, that'll be enough. Right about... Wait, that ain't it. Eh, somewhere in that ballpark. So we'll press S. S gets rid of the clip. And then we'll just delete that. So the color curves look like this. My color curves, the ones that I'm using here, look like this. Um, I think they look pretty good. Let's just, just go with that. Now, on top of color curves, in addition to color curves, I like to throw a brightness and contrast. And I have one I made for Modern Warfare 3. And it just kind of throws a little more epicness on it. Um, you can copy these if you like. Negative 0 0.2, 0 0.28, 0 0.26. I'm actually going to move this um, down a little bit more. A little too much on the center there. So I'm going to go about 0 0.20 and just gain a little bit more detail back into this scope and some of the hands and stuff like that. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, where does the detail start to lose? See how it goes away when the darkness comes in? So right about 0 0.2 or 0 0.19 is where I get it back, and that's awesome. Last thing I like to do to every clip, and then you can do other stuff on top of that, but I like to put a sharpener on there. Um, choose yours. I made my own just because the other ones are kind of kind of wonky. Uh, mine's point one one eight, and you can see how some of these lines. And of course, in draft, it doesn't look very good. So if you go to best, um, it starts to just sharpen up. Like the best thing to look at to me is some of these letters and numbers. You know, when this starts to look like it looks right, um, when your um, the kill feed looks right, then your sharpen's good. So point one one eight. That's what I like to use. Uh, that's what I use for almost everything. And so there's the clip. Now we got to start chopping it up, it up, right? I'm not going to use the music here because this is a different channel. I don't have the rights to use it here, uh, but you get the idea, right? It hit this this hit on the drop. So what do we need? What don't we need? What a lot of you don't know after watching that clip is let me drop this back down to half on on draft. Is that when I ran up? Let me turn that down some. When I ran up the stairs there, still out. Um, I threw the C4 and I tried the C4 shot. Missed it. Got the squad, jumped down, and made it a five man on split feed. What I edited was no C4 shot. And um, it was quite, that was quite the challenging part for this, was to get rid of that C4 shot. So let me show you guys how I did it and some of the creative ways I used, some of the creative things I used to get rid of it. So here we are throwing the C4. Now I'm using this here. This is a frame step. You hold it down and it just kind of walks in much slower fashion. So we threw the C4, that was good, brought the gun back up. Now that's what I don't need. I don't need that right there. So as soon as he starts to draw the gun in, I'm going to press S. I'm going to get rid of that later. Don't need this shot, don't want this shot. Okay, now, but I do need that animation right there. Because I can't go from, let me just separate this and show you what I can't do. I can't go from this to a, to a flip off. There has to be an animation of the gun going away. So this animation right there, I need those few frames to sell the effect and my phone's ringing. Goddamn telemarketers, I swear. 
So I need those few frames of just the gun disappearing. It sells the effect. So I'm going to grab that one, and I'm going to grab that one. So I don't need any of this. I'm just going to right-click it and delete. And, I, and what I did here is I just pressed S twice. So I need these few frames to sell it that it's disappearing. Let's see what that looked like there. That's all you need. Look. It separates it. It brings me to the right spot. And there you go. Now I have a few frames of nothingness. That's the frames I need to Twixter to put the uh, the effect over. And then you get the click, click, boom, baby. So that's it. That's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to right click over here, insert a video track. If I'm moving too fast, let me know in the comment section. This is my first one. Um, but, you know, I, I want to get it right on my first time. And I want to make it look awesome. So here's the middle finger animation. You can download it off the internet. That's it. That's it right there. It's just a, it's just a green screen effect, right? I didn't do anything special. Uh, so what do you do to get rid of a green screen? You go to Chroma Keyer. And it is right here. It's built into everyone. Nothing you got to do special. Grab it. Green screen. Drop it. Now, the green screen's not perfect. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to grab the droplet tool and grab this color green. And then you play with this. I don't even know what thro thresholds, blur amounts means. But usually when you turn this one down, it brings things back into life. So... There you go. The other big thing you have to do, what a lot of people kind of forget about, is you put it over the top of your clip. This is where it's going to be. It doesn't look like it fits here, right? This is too cinematic. This is too, like, gameplay. It just doesn't look right. So how do you fix that? My favorite way to do it is a color curve. I'm just going to, just for the fun of it, I don't remember what I did before, but I'm going to throw the same color curve back on it and see what happens. Super sexy. Boom. Boom. Starting to look like it fits, but it just has too much of a, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just too colored or something. So, let's leave that alone for the moment. Let's throw a brightness and contrast. These are my favorite things to do, honestly. Throw that on there, and I'm going to use that as a base to kind of bring it into this, this, it kind of needs like a, a gray. See how that gray is coming in? Kind of needs some of that gray with a more contrast. Bring the center up a little bit. It's starting to look like it fits a little bit better. These are the things you play with, you take your time with, you get this stuff right. Um, I'm not going to go crazy with it right now, but you get the idea, right? It's already starting to look a little bit more like it fits in the clip. And in the in the actual montage, uh, I'll try to pause on the moment there. You can see, I mean, just the colors are just... Okay. Look at that. They're perfect. I mean, I, I say perfect. They're damn good. It looks like, see those colors there that match that color. I was looking at different things like this red's not too crazy against this red and things like that. So moving on, uh, this color starting to match this color. And then, and then, you know, it's along the same lines. But obviously the flip off can't be happening while it's doing all these other things and stuff like that. So I have to grab the moment that the flip off, see where his finger starts to come in there. I need to grab a couple frames before that because the green screen makes an effect even though you get rid of it the green screen causes an effect to come in place so i need to find it and fade it in that way it doesn't have an effect on anybody but that tells me the the spot where it needs to start this is the blank spot these are the this is the clip that has nothing happening it's just walking across right but it's only like five six frames i need to make that longer so he has enough time to flip the dude off so i need to twixter it twixter is the only way to make something this short that long so Twixter is something you can download and install. Um, it's pretty easy. Just search YouTube Twixter install, or I'm sorry, Sony Vegas Twixter install. Super, super easy to do. Let me grab a drink of water. So this is how I like to use Twixter. I don't know shit about it. I just know a little bit on how to use it. So I'm going to go to 5% um, image prep. I know you, you make it. Contrast edge enhancement and you click smart blend. That's all I know to do right. There's probably a thousand things you could do with Twixter I don't know how to do it. Oh other thing. Let me try son of a beach So here's the clip. It's not long enough. We hit Twixter one thing you got to do is right click a clip If you're gonna Twixter it, I forgot about this little step right click it select properties and disable resample extremely important Then don't control drag like you used to when making something longer. Just make it longer and when you get your draft and make that bitch quarter because Twixter takes forever for it to render it out. Now you have like smooth motion, right? But it's still kind of like that's crazy long in the timeline for that all to be happening. So I can easily just tighten up. I can control drag. You hold control and watch what happens. See that drag right there? Look real close at it. Now I hit, if I hit control, it causes a little squiggly line to happen underneath that. That means you're tightening or lengthening the clip. 
I can control drag it in. Now, that means that the, the, the flip off animation is going to happen faster, but that's okay. And then as soon as that flip off animation comes to an end, there's the click, there's the boom. Then all you got to do after that is right click, insert another audio track. Um, you can drag these down to the bottom. That's how I like to do it. Drag this one to the bottom. And actually, you need to delete this track and add a new one. So now you got two tracks. Then all you got to do is, you know, get the, the I got a, a sound kit um, for some really sweet sounds. So this is a C4 click. I'll let you guys listen to that now. As soon as I make all these silent because it's all jacked. Here, listen. So that's a C4 click, and that's a detonation right here. So now all I got to do is sync that stuff up. So where does he click it? Click. It needs to click as soon as his finger comes right about there. That'll work. And the detonation happens as soon as the hit marker comes. So let's make this a little better so I can see the hit marker in the middle. There it is right there. So that's when the boom happens. So just line that up and you have yourselves a clip, guys. So we got to set this to quarter draft. It looks like crap, but the Twixter, uh, when you Twixter something, it's hard for Sony Vegas to work with it. So you got to make it look like that. But anyway, you get the uh, the animation to happen again. So there it is. Um, good fun. You know, obviously this should have happened a little bit later, right about there. Tighten it up a little bit more. You play with it. You get it right. You get it perfect. So is it that one hand comes up? The other hand comes down. And that's it. Flip them off as you walk along and click. Boom. Done. So anyway, guys, that was it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me if I went too fast. Tell me in the comment section something. You know, give me some feedback, please. I'm Six Sensei. Thank you for joining me. And I'm out. Peace.